All right, so let's look at a couple examples here of um, some of these strategies for assessing the normality of a sample visually. So our first option was just make a histogram and overlay a curve. Right, so remember our data that we've seen before, the high temperature recorded in each of the 50 states. Let's, let's take a look at that over in Minitech. Okay, so I've got my, my high temperature data over here. All right, and if we go to stat, sorry, if we go to graph, histogram, before when we made just a simple histogram, we just used the default option simple. But what if we go to with fit? All right, with fit, if I double click my, if I double click this, all right, it'll just, we can talk about the default options here, but it'll basically just make a histogram of this data and overlay a normal curve. So how does it decide what, um, what type of normal curve to do? How does it decide the parameters? Remember, it uses X bar as the mean, the sample mean as the hypothesized population mean, and S, the sample standard deviation, as the hypothesized standard deviation. Now, if you had something in mind that you thought the mean and standard deviation should be, if you click this button, data view, you go to distribution, by default it's going to be on normal, but you can put in a specific mean and standard deviation here. You also, at this, if you're not checking to see does it fit normal, you don't have to choose normal. You could say, oh, does it fit a exponential distribution? Does it fit something else? All right. But for now, let's just leave default options, see what we get. Okay, there's our histogram, and we see it fits fairly well. Now, we could play around with the bins and all that. We, we probably shouldn't have a, a blank bin right there, but you know this, this is fine for, for our purposes. We see it fits fairly well. What we're more interested in is our probability plot. Okay, so um, so it's it's pretty easy. A histogram is just a quick, easy way of doing this, right? But but really, what we're more interested in is a probability plot. So let's use this same data and do this in Minitab. All right, so we've got this over here, and I'm gonna go to Stat Probability Plot Single, and again. I can just use the default options. Now, all we've looked at so far are normal probability plots. You can check for other distributions. Like if I thought this data fit another distribution, you can click that distribution button and, and choose, or you can put in specific parameters. Okay, but we're going to just go with the default options here and see what we get. All right, so here. This is, this is what Minitab gives us as our default plot, and it does give us some, some good things here. All right? It gives us, mainly we see our, our points hug that center line pretty well. It also gives us some lines on the outside here. All right? And that kind of gives us some guidelines, like if a point falls outside of those, um, can we call it an outlier? Right, so we do see a point here that we've, we've already identified before as an outlier. Notice it's outside those points. But otherwise, all of our points are within those bounds. Um, they, they hug that line pretty closely. So I'd say we'd be pretty good in thinking that this data set comes from a normal distribution. All right, but we can do a little bit better here Okay, so than the default. So if we go to graph probability distribution plot, or sorry, we actually need to go to graph probability plot. Um, if I click this distribution button and data display, okay, I, I don't want those confidence intervals. Uh, we, we haven't really talked too much about that yet. Okay. The other thing that I want to do is I want to make Y scale score just because I just think Z scores just make a little bit more sense in the interpretation. All right, It, it just helps me a little bit to think, oh wait, okay, this guy's z-score is a little bit closer to zero, a little bit smaller than what we expect. This that guy's z-score is a little bit bigger than what we expect. All right, remember when something doesn't fit the normal distribution, having those z-scores can really help us interpret these plots much, much better. Okay, um, so another thing I can do, let's just show an example here. When we go to probability plot single, if I thought that this data was supposed to fit, say, like a exponential, 
um, distribution. You can click OK. But now it's going to do something, uh, something completely different. Right? This was normal data. We're plotting it um, versus exponential quantiles. All right? So it doesn't fit that at all. All right, but that's just wanted to show, you know, you can, so we're talking about normal plots, but you can do that for a lot of different distributions here in Minitab. All right, so those are some of the edits to kind of make a nice, um, usable, normal probability plot in Minitab. So I hope those examples were helpful for you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.